Hey guys, Bob here with High Pro Source. Uh, today we're going to demo the new Pearl VX series uh, trolley saw. A couple things I really like about this saw is that um, it's portable, it's small, it's handy. Um, it it has a vat water valve already attached to the saw, uh, so and it comes with this this water hose that you can hook to a uh, a bucket or a garden hose and it feeds water to the saw. You can cut dry or wet with it. Uh, also, it has a vacuum port here that you can hook up a, a shop vac or a HEPA vac to um, if you want to dry cut with it. Uh, today we're going to be working with some 24 by 48 tile panels. Um, the saw comes with C-clamps that hook to the, the trolley rail. It comes with the trolley rail. It comes with the suction cups. Uh, we've got it hooked to the suction cups right now. One important thing to remember is that there is a one inch offset from the blade to the trolley. So if you need to make a 15 and a half inch cut, you need to measure and set your rail, the edge of your rail at 14 and a half inches and it'll get, you'll get a 15 and a half inch cut. So there's exactly a one inch offset. Um, so today we're going to install some 24 by 48 large format tile with it. Uh, this saw will bevel, so we're going to do some outside corners with it. Uh, and some straight cuts and see how it does. Another thing I really like about the Pearl Saw is uh, it comes with a blade, it comes with a turbo mesh blade. Um, we may try out a couple different blades, see how they do, but we're gonna start with this Pearl uh, four and a half inch, no, five inch uh, turbo mesh blade. Um, and we're gonna do some miters and some straight cuts with it. This is a saw that you can buy for less than a thousand dollars. That's another good thing about this saw. It's not as big and heavy uh, as some of the other trolley saws that I've seen, but it's like in the $650 range, which I, which I like a lot. So uh, we're going we're gonna to work with it today and see how it does. little chip in there. We'll clean that up with that monolith flex and mop pad. How those suction cups feel, Mike? Oh, they feel great. I mean, them suction cups are really good. The trick to them, though, is keeping a nice wet rag around and wipe them off when you get done with it. Go to reuse it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab my clean the pad. We're going to go ahead and buff this edge real quick. Let's do a before and after, show them how well that thing works. Okay. So there's the edge before. You can now see those little dots right there. We're going to use a, using a 120 monolith Fleximont pad on it. You gotta keep it moving. See how it looks after he hit it with that little pad. Mm, looks like a factory edge to me. You can't. You'll have to be really close looking when you're laying the towel that it ain't. You ain't swapping it.
I love that thing. That blade is getting broke in good. Mm -hmm. Any big pieces of towels you can take and get a sliver like that cut off of it. That's, that's awesome. It's always well worth its weight in gold, I'll just be honest with you. about this that I mean I don't have to go out and buy a four foot wet saw uh, I don't have to you know I don't have to spend two thousand dollars on a four foot wet saw you know I'm, I'm spending six hundred six fifty something like that for something that I can do miters I can do multiple items I mean and what I'm going to thinking about here in a little bit we're going to do some miters just to see how well it does do miters so all in all well worth my money I spent on it uh, very tickled with it alright guys we're going to try a new blade out we uh, kicked the VX series trolley saw over onto a, a 45 degree to cut a miter with for the front of a bench the P4 blade did okay. We were the, the cut was a little bit too jagged though, uh, and it was a little bit slow. It's a turbo mesh blade. It's made to cut a little faster. It worked really well in the straight cuts. We're gonna try switching it up to a blade that Mark Smith at Helix Tools sent me last week. It is the K-Scribe blade from Helix. It's actually, uh, it was designed by Ken Ballin and Mark to cut um, scribe cuts with and describe and cut curves and uh, cut around things with but it's got a reinforced core um, and it's got a thin continuous rim and we're going to try it on this pearl saw and see how it does on a miter. I um, want to thank Mark for sending me this blade. That's something we were excited to try out today on this this pearl saw. So let's check it out and see how it does. What do you think of that blade? That right there was freaking amazing. That was probably far and none one of the best miter blades I've ever used. I, it's, it's amazing. I would call that a well mitered edge right there. And keep in mind, we're working with 7 16th inch thick porcelain. This isn't gauge panels. This isn't, this, 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 this isn't thin tile. This is thick, thick, hard tile. All right. Yeah. We did so good on that last miner. We're going to go ahead and try to finish this thing up. What I've done here is I laid another piece of towel out here to uh, just as a, to keep this thing from, like if I didn't have this towel here, this sags down in the back. I want to keep a nice flat straight cut the whole way across. Uh, and uh, that's why I put that in there.
Let's take a look at that cut. That's. I mean, let's brush that. That's friggin' amazing. That's bad to the bone. It needs doctored up a little bit with the Flexamont pad. We're gonna hit it and yeah. show you what it looks like when we're done. The suction cups on this thing is just absolutely amazing. They, <laughs> they actually hold a little too good sometimes. That is a sweet clean cut guys. That's the K-Scribe blade from Helix Tools. We carry those at tileprosource.com. And the five, four and a half and five inch. So don't get any better than that.